this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're hooked up to the Jow Test um, Kajala unit here on a John Deere Dozer. I'm just going to go through the software here and get us connected. We're going to choose this off highway module and we're going to scroll down here until we find the John Deere option. Go back up. Okay. The next option that's going to give you here is for your model number. And we're just going to scroll down here and look for this is a 650K. Work our way towards the bottom here. As you can see, there's a lot of models. The software covers down under this. Yep. The 650K option. Okay, and then it'll break it down for you. You've got a choice here of an interim or a final tier 4. This is a final tier 4. Next option is going to be your connection type. We're actually using this 217M3, which is your green 9 pin. Then we'll hit connect. As you can see, the screen's going to show please wait. That's the unit trying to communicate with the gel testing from the computer. And the connecting is actually trying to communicate from the link to the engine EC here. And it connects fairly quickly. It's going to take just a few seconds here. Okay, when this comes up, you've got your system identification here, and we can read and clear fault codes. I'm going to go into read fault codes. There's actually no code stored in here at this moment, but if there were, you'd see them populate on the screen right there. Next option is system data. This is where you're going to get in here for the ECU data. And once this loads up, it gives you your serial numbers. It's going to give you some different part numbers down here and compatibility codes. But We'll get into the parameter side of it. These are things you can go in here and change. This will be like your injector coating, your DPF coating, your SCR as well. Under monitoring, this is your live data. These are going to be your parameters. The engine is running right now, as you can hear. So you can see here we've got 189 different parameters. You'll cook this magnifying glass, and it actually breaks it down into separate little categories here, or not really categories, but just where you're looking at a few parameters at a time instead of trying to look at all of these. I'm not going to go through all 24 pages here for you. just want you to take a look and kind of see what it looks like in the software. And we'll click this check mark to go back. And the back button. I'll actuate components. This is where you can get a new run your EGR valve tests. Your system checks, this is going to be where your other tests are. As you can see, you've got a couple depth tests here, but we're going to go in and run the cylinder cutout today. Next screen is just going to kind of give you a little bit of an explanation of what the test is. And then you'll get this one, and this just, you know, wants you to make sure you've met these two parameters prior to running the test. We're going to choose cylinder one, and we're going to go down to the bottom here, and we can cut it off or back on. And Go we'll back out of here, just click that check mark again. And we're going to choose cylinder 4. We'll do one more for you here. And same thing down at the bottom, off, and then we'll cut it right back on. And you can hear that cylinder cutting out there. Right, except now it'll come up with another screen once we back out of here. Okay, check mark. This next screen is going to ask you if you want a graph on it that's saved. We do want to look at that so you can see here where that cylinder actually cut out. And this does show both cylinders as I scroll down here towards the bottom. Accept. Alright. Our next tab we want to look at is the maintenance tab. This is where you can actually come in here. This is going to let you force your region. As you can see, that differential pressure resets there as well. Calibrations. You can calibrate the EGR and the intake throttle valve there. So overall it looks like really good coverage on the engine side with this tool. Thanks for watching.